This tech tip will cover how to manage data cursors in ATI's Vision Data Analyzer, also known as VDA. By default, VDA data cursors are depicted as yellow vertical lines, which appear in the graph. The cursor ID tabs are displayed at the top and bottom of the data cursor line and will appear when the mouse cursor hovers over the data cursor. This window displays the cursor name, x-axis timeline position, and the delta distance between the two cursors. Data cursors are used as a bracketing mechanism for focusing on a specific time period. Moving data cursors. Data cursors can be repositioned via multiple methods. Positioning data cursors to specific locations enables the use of functionality created to reference the cursor. This includes things such as zooming the x-axis between data cursors and the ability to export the recorded data between data cursors. The Move Cursor buttons at the top of the screen works the same as using the left-right arrow keys on the keyboard, holding the Shift and Control keys down while pressing the arrow keys or Move Cursor buttons add additional functionality. Pressing the left-right arrow will only move the data cursor one screen unit in the direction pressed. Holding control while pressing the arrows allows cursors to jump 10% of the window. Holding shift in the arrow keys grants the users the ability to move the data cursor to the next sample point on the selected trace. Users can also select the desired data cursor and drag the cursor left or right while holding down the left mouse button. This action also sets the selected cursor to active. Double-click a point on the graph to snap the active cursor to that location. Location is based on the x-axis position of the mouse cursor. Data cursors can be locked together or chained across tab pages. Cursor chaining and locking options are also available in the toolbar. If the lock cursor or chain cursors options are active, then the cursors will move. The Lock Cursors button allows users to lock the time difference between the two cursors. This enables the data cursors to move together in order to maintain the time difference. Using the Chain Cursors button chains cursors across all pages. This in turn enables all cursors to move simultaneously. If the Lock Cursor option is also enabled, then the positions of the cursors on all pages will be synchronized. How to set up the active cursor. There are multiple methods for setting an active cursor and all methods result in the active cursor displaying bolder in the graph area and reset the distance to the selected cursor's value to zero, which is displayed in the cursor's pane. To set the active cursor, begin by clicking on the cursor in the graph area. Then double click on the cursor row within the cursor pane. Click the select cursor button in the toolbar to change the active cursor. Finally, press the 1 key to activate cursor 1 and the 2 key to activate cursor 2. Based on the settings of the x-axis display options, the cursors display is differently in the three x-axis modes. The settings for the x-axis display options have the following effects. The bottom graph setting is a default setting which causes the cursor line to appear solid and the bottom cursor tabs rise above the x-axis. Each graph setting. This results in a cursor line that appears to break when the passing through the top graph's x-axis, and the bottom cursor tab rides above the x-axis. Do not show x-axis setting. This results in the cursor line appearing solid, and the bottom cursor tabs ride above the overview bar. Setting up the cursor pane. The cursor's pane displays the distance between data cursors and allows editing the cursor's properties. Open the pane by selecting the Show Cursor Window icon on the Cursor Toolbar, or select Show Cursors Window from the Cursors menu. While docked, the pane can be set to Static or Auto-Hide mode. To set up the Cursors pane, double-click the color box in the first blank column to open the color palette. Select your desired color. The ID informs users of the cursor numbers. Time shows the cursor's current x-axis location. Delta distance, noted by the delta icon, displays current distance between cursors. Time value can be edited on cursor 1, cursor 2, and delta, and will move the cursor to an exact position on the timeline. 
Editing these values moves the inactive cursor position to match the delta distance from the active cursor and updates the time value. The cursor pane also allows toggling of the cursor's visibility.